She knows where the she knows where the trailer ball oh, is. What What's going on, everybody? Nick's trying to we do this without me, and it's not working. We just got a new boat here. We're selling Sarah's Pathfinders for sale. We got people coming to look at it. We got the mom mobile, the minivan of boats here. We just got a hurricane deck boat, 231. Here we go. We gotta go put it in the water though. So this will be perfect for the family and kids. And Rob at the marina is gonna be running eco tours and uh, sunset tours on it and stuff like that. So it should be available for charter there, Robin. But Charles is gonna help us out to Keezy TV. He's gonna drop us off at the ramp and then we're going to take it back to Bud Mary's. We'll go check this bad boy out. It's been really windy lately and uh, canceled all our trips this week. It's blowing 20 to 30 miles an hour. You can see the palm trees blowing there. And hopefully it gets better soon. Yeah, if you got all the weight towards this little latch right here, okay. you can't shut that. So if anything, you want them like... Look at that, knows what he's doing. Nick's never touched the trailer before. Anyhow, this is the new boat, you guys. This is gonna be the family fun boat. And I'm gonna take you, we're gonna go put it in the water. We haven't run it yet, but we did buy it. Um, <laughs> and we're gonna take you and show you all about it. And I think we're gonna do some fishing videos on it. Charles says he wants to go fishing on it too. So we'll even get to Keezy TV out there with us. This is my dream boat. That's your dream boat. Huh? That's why I'm helping. I would like to finally, maybe one day drive the boat. I mean, I think it's sick. We're good. Brakes off, towable. Brakes on, not good. Uh-oh, you got five plugger. This thing's only a three plugger. Looks like you're gonna need Ricky. Really? So we had to, that's a brand new plug you just got. Oh, we had to get an adapter here to make this thing work. Plug it in, baby. That's not the right one. Oh, yeah, that, that, that is. There we go. Hey, as long as it's not that's one not... of those trailers that uh, needs uh, power brakes to back up. So check the haul out on this thing. You know, we got blue here and white up here. And one day we may wrap it. I don't know if it's gonna happen yet. Mama Sassy Sarah. Got a 200 Yamaha. Got one of them power, power pole finger majiggers. This is a used boat, a little wear and tear down here, obviously. What year is it? 2014. So 2014, so it's like seven years old. Okay, trailer checklist. He's putting on the straps. Check. So we're strapping up. Uh, plug in bottom of boat. Yep. Alright, So we're gonna go put this thing in here, then we'll uh, show you the whole boat. Oh, very nice. See that little uh, hatch there? And we got some more news for you too. At the marina, I'm gonna show you a different boat that we're selling. We got straps on here, and you just wanna make sure you secure the boat. We don't want this boat bounce off the trailer when we go over there. We don't wanna lose our new puppy, so we got it strapped down there, and gonna strap the other side too. We got Charles, he's a master trailer operator. He does it all the time. I don't do it very often. Here we go, make sure we don't hit nothing. Brake lights work, that's good. trying to leave without me. Ooh, American crocodile, be careful. Here we go. So this is our new deck boat going in the water. Sassy Sarah's excited. The mom mobile is here. You know with this YouTube thing you've gotten real lazy. Yeah. I look at you like, hey, help me come pull the boat. Grab the camera. <laughs> going in. Mom back. Mom back. See your starts. Oh, Yamaha. fired right up. Yamaha, baby. It's a Yamaha. All right, now, now you can unlatch it. Here we go. Charles, thank you. See ya. Is that your boat behind you? That's the new one. Y'all might remember Charles from the Cabrera videos. Thanks, thank you. Charles. All right, here we go. Okay. Bye, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so it is windy. You can see it's blowing 20, 25 knots still. Let me just give you a quick walk through this video, though. This is like a minivan, you know. This is what we. This is life. We got kids now. We got a couple of little girls, so we got. We can put a chair up here, so if we want to do some big game fishing. Maybe we'll get a portable chair to mount there. But in here, guys, a little anchor locker. 
put a little anchor in there. We don't have one yet. Right here's a latch. You got a boarding ladder right there. And if you're chilling up here, you know, you can put your family up here and your friends and just hang out and relax. We got to scrub it. It was underneath the trees for a few days. Right here, you got a little live well. You can put some shrimp in there. In the deck hatch here, this hatch lifts up. It's a used boat, obviously it ain't brand new. We got a bunch of life jackets in there and a throwable cushion. Let's see if there's any storage underneath here. Yep, we got storage underneath here too. You can put some dive gear in there, maybe some fins and flippers, stuff like that. The console, we did have a little porta potty in there. Sarah took it out, we got a cooler in there for now, but a little console in there, you know, you can put a porta potty or a bucket in there to go to the bathroom. There you go. We're really excited about this boat. We're gonna have fun on it with the family. Up here, you got a little sink right there. A little fresh water here. And we had to replace the pump and you know, it was a used boat, so we had to do some work to it. Got a nice bimini top, so we got shade. It's a center console. A lot of hurricane deck boats are uh, have a side console. This one's got a center console, two seats right here. We have a CD player right here. Hopefully that works. A GPS there. Throttle is your switch panel. Sassy Sarah. Here we go. Let's look at this here. Another little storage hatch. Get the bottom of the sink there. Some speakers, dive flag, and fishing rod holders. This is a new water pump. We just put in fresh water so it works. A new hose and all that right there. Yamaha 200 running good. Let's put this cushion back there. And this is another storage hatch in here. We got some dock lines in there. Right there like that. What do we got back here? Another live well. So if you want to put shrimp or fish in there, we got two live wells on here. One up front, one up back. Not a heavy duty serious fishing boat, but you better believe we're going to do some fishing videos here. So here we go. Sassy's about to hit it. It's so comfy. It is comfy. Watch that cushion that it doesn't blow away. Warp speed. Warp speed. Here we go. Oh, my water. Boat. So comfy. Very comfortable. I think we're going to have some fun on here. Auto fun. And uh, Sarah will be doing a few lobster trips on it this summer. Maybe some stone crab trips in the fall. And um, Robin, like I said, will be running trips on it too. We're excited though. Can't wait to get Sadie out here and Claire out here too. 4,400. 4, You know, so typical crews are probably about 25 to 30 miles an hour on this. It also has a jack plate, which we haven't really messed with, but we'll have to play around with that and see how it does. We'll trim it up some. We jacked the motor up a little bit, so. It's a tank. It feels heavy. Comfy. For the first five minutes to be on the boat and quit working. But it's a used boat. That's the speedometer actually. Uh, it's always something on boats. I never go under this bridge. Not even in my cop fighters and it scares me. Oh we're good. We made it underneath the bridge there. 
The old Pathfinder, we couldn't do that because the tower. Sarah wants to go on a real sea trial, so we're gonna go out in the ocean here and see how she does. We better hold on tight. So we have a float switch, and when that lifts up, it automatically turns your pillow stuff on, but it doesn't appear to be working. We thought it was. Oh, wow. Well. I checked it before we got I put my foot on it and floated it up, and it worked. New hats are coming in, you guys. We got a big shipment. As soon as they come in, I'll give you guys a heads up. Super excited about them. They turned out really nice there. Gonna have a lot more styles coming in hot. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it's windy now. Holder come from? Oh, from the bow. It does ride good, you guys. It rides good. Ooh, doggy. A new home for the deck boat. It's so windy. <laughs> it's windy. You want that over with your boat next? Hit that marker. Oh, oh it's oh. going down. Look at that. Oh. The power pole is down. We never used it before. We got to get gas in this puppy and uh, go from there. So that's the new home for the hurricane deck boat there. Robin's going to be running that. She just ran away. She gets camera shy. Here's the old boat, the Pathfinder. We're still on that. Trent over there helping clean it up. Here comes Captain Robin now. So if you're down here in the Keys and want to go on an eco tour, you can take them, right? Hi guys, for sure. Boat Ride Robin. Boat Ride Robin out of the lighthouse around Indian Key, underneath the bridges. What else do you do? Sunset uh, tours? Sunset tours are my favorite. Got some real cool spots. Uh, some uh, snorkeling, lighthouse, boat rides, manatees. There you go. Come on down, watch the sunset with Rob and call the Marine office. They get you set up. Pathfinder's here for a little while longer, but the Hurricane Deck Boat's the new ride. Have a good day. Bye guys, smash that like button. You heard it, hit that like button. Let's go check out this other boat though. You know, we had big news and I want to share this with you too. There's Jamie. They're getting ready for weddings in here and events and parties. You're probably getting God over there in Domino's, huh? Oh, no. We're trying to find the town. They're going to take all your money back. Don't fall, Jamie. This is the uh, Jamie hooked up a stereo system in here. Got the, set, the board up there, play videos on it, movies, slideshows, great audio system. And uh, we got some weddings and parties coming up. So if you guys ever want to get married in the Keys too, give the Marine office a call and then get you in touch here. And not for everybody, but it might be for you. So here's my boat, the broad minded right there. She's still floating. Just so when we're not fishing out, but I said I had some news I want to tell you guys. And um, well, here's the news we sold. This is the first charter boat we actually had that I ran, the B&M, which stood for Bud and Mary's. And then I think, you know, you guys only see the Freeman and the end result, but I spent seven years on here running this boat. And I guess I started doing it when I was 20 years old, 19 or 20, part-time in college, always working on the weekends all summer long, running charters on it. it used to be the uh, least expensive boat here. But the tides have turned, you know, 15 years later, and now we got the Freeman. But this is still a great boat, and I learned a lot of that. I think that made me who I am, especially fishing-wise. You know, I used to go out there 14, 15 knots, 30, 40 miles, take forever to get there. But our buddy Dylan bought the boat. He's made it on it the last three or four years with Charlie, and he made it with me a little bit on my boat. You know, worked with me seven, eight, nine years ago as well. And his grandpa was kind of a legend down here fishing years ago. But come check the boat out. This is the Crusader, and I got a lot of old videos actually. Um, on this boat fishing and I wasn't filming YouTube videos back then but I used to film a little bit with my GoPro if you all want to see some of those old videos maybe I'll do some throwback videos you know just comment below let me know if you want to see some of these old videos from this boat we got a lot of swordfish videos a little bit of sailfish some other stuff too but here we go now it's a very exciting day when you start your own business Dylan is starting a charter business and um, he's down here just painting cleaning it up Dylan say hi to the camera what's happening y'all how is it we're cleaning it on up down here huh yeah excuse the mess Looking but good it's, though. It need, it's getting nice and white down here for, for any of the ladies that need to come use the bathroom and gonna make it a little bit more nicer for everybody. It's kind of nice. There you go. 
And yeah, the boat needs work. Just like any boat, even new ones. We just bought that used boat for Sarah and gotta fix a few things. And he's gonna get some curtain work done, which he's working on now. This got Yanmar diesels in there. I guess about maybe four or five years ago, maybe four years ago, we repowered it. And uh, you know, we worked on here a few days with the guy snatching the motors out and then helping put them back in. Kind of a funny story. I have a few clips of that somewhere if I can find them. I might drop them in, but let's see if these bad boys fire up here. Right up like that. Right up like that. So both those motors fire right up. This is a great fishing boat. Dylan will be doing trips to the reef, trips offshore, you know, yellowtail, mutton snapper, grouper, sailfish in the wintertime. Dolphin season's coming right now, so Mahi or Dolphin. And um, he's starting here this coming week. He's been on the boat for four years mating, and now it's his turn to run it and build his own business. So if you guys come down here, come check Dylan out. Yeah, and um, it's an option too, if you want shade, you got shade here. Twin diesel boat, good for trolling, and um, we're good to go. Dylan, congratulations, take good care Thank of her. You. It's time. It's time, and everybody just sees me in the Freeman now, but they don't, this is where a lot started, of you guys baby. don't, this is where it started right here, so. <laughs> This is uh, the boat that I grew up running charters on and it was our first boat. We just kind of getting rid of it. My dad didn't want to because it was sentimental, but we think Dylan's the right guy for the job and hopefully he'll keep putting fish on it and making memories for all his customers. I'm ready to take there it over. Go. All right, so come on down here, you guys, to Bud and Mary's. Check it out. Hope you enjoyed that tour of Sarah's new boat. Dylan, good luck. We'll see you around. Thank you, guys. Don't come let us down. down and see us now. <laughs> so give the office a call there if you want to give Dylan a shot in the B&M. And we got a really nice trailer with this boat. You guys are probably hoping this video is going to end soon. It is going to end pretty soon, but we're going to wash all the fresh water, you guys. And then we're going to hit it with blaster. And you know, we want this trailer to last a long time. It is beautiful, but just going to hit it with some heavy duty corrosion stop. And that'll uh, make it last a lot longer. So here we go. You take care of your stuff, it'll take care of you. Just an extra five minutes of maintenance and we're gonna get an extra couple of years out of it, probably. Pretty much hitting every nut and bolt all around the tires there, the wheels, and uh, it's gonna take five minutes, but it just helps so much. So we'll keep this trailer in good shape. She's blasted. That's all I got for you guys. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Come on down here to Alamo to go fishing on one of the boats there, Bud and Mary's, and hopefully we'll see you guys down here. So. Stay tuned, 150,000 subscriber giveaway coming up here. We just hit 136,000 a few days ago and uh, can't wait.